guys, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug, and I'm here to show you kind of like a part two to the compass. And so in the previous video, we talked about how we could get the, our compass to read north, south, east, west. And on the site, which I'll put a link in the show notes, you got the, the challenge to create northeast, southeast, that kind of thing. Um, but a couple things. As many of you will start to realize that the micro bit is far from perfect as any device, really. And so there's some things that we can do to kind of spruce this up so you can calibrate your micro bit to have more accurate readings and so let me show you a couple other things that you can kind of mess around with to troubleshoot your compass to make it the way you want um, the first thing that I did was I brought back the on start block which I have right here and this normally is always on there um, but we're going to add a feature here where we're going to make sure that we calibrate the compass every time. And so if we search for that block and on start, we click and drag that calibrate compass block in there. It's going to ask you to make that circle every time um, using the micro bit. That's what calibrates your micro bit so it can figure out north, south, east, west. Now, a couple things with this that's really important when you calibrate your compass if you're in one location and you calibrate it that's where it's going to work and so say you calibrate in a classroom and then you walk down the hall somewhere else you may lose some of that calibration it's also important to, to take note too that the, the calibration works or the compass works with a magnet and so if you are close to a metal surface or another object that has a magnet it could also throw off your digital compass um, as well so just a couple things to kind of think about when you're thinking about the calibration now the second thing that I did was down here in this block this is the, the same code we used previously but what I did was I added a show number block and so I went here to the basic and I brought this show number over and then I dragged in the compass heading and so I just went over here and I just typed in there's my compass heading and so what this is going to do is you can kind of see over here in the simulator it's actually going to print the degree that the micro bit is facing. In the simulator, it's always going to show 90. That's just the default of, of the, the simulator. I threw a pause block in for 3,000 milliseconds. So for three seconds, it'll showcase that number. And then I still have whether it's showing north, east, south, or west. And I dragged those two blocks in, um, the show number and pause, for all my conditions. What this allows me to do is to see what the micro bit is reading. And then I could go back in here and I could calibrate these numbers. I could make this range bigger. I know we started at, at 340, but we could, you know, we could drop this down. If you're not going to do the northeast, southeast, northwest, southwest, I could expand this. You know, I could make this 315 and push this out all the way to 45 and make that north. Um, I'm not going to keep that in there, but if I wasn't concerned with the intermediate directions I can make this range bigger but if your micro bit is glitching and you're getting a north and a west or a south and a east really fast this right here will allow you if you don't move you got to stay stationary it will allow you to get those numbers and you can see what's going on and so let me flip over so I can show you what this looks like um, on my micro bit that I have I just calibrated so you can see all right so I have mine, I already did the circle, so you don't have to watch that calibration process. But if you look here, it's facing this behind me actually. This is the, the top of the micro bit here. And I'm trying to get it so you can see the angle here. It's What it's gonna do, it's gonna show the degree. So it's showing that it's 161 degrees, which is going to be south. So it should have an S, there you go. And it's gonna to continue to show that. And so. What this allows me to do is I can get angles here. So if I go to the sideways here, let's see what we got here. I didn't see that one. We'll have to check it out again here. 269 degrees, which is west. Okay, if I face it here towards you, we should get north. So there's 359. So it should be an up, down, end for you. And then I go this way. So what you're able to do with this particular code then is you can write down those numbers and you can see if it's working or not. And if you're getting the glitches and you can see what the number is that it's reading and make a note of that, and you can see whether you need to recalibrate or if your micro bit's just not reading properly or if your range needs to be expanded in your code. 
So this is what you should be seeing with the compass. And if that's not working for you, you know, let me know, leave a comment, um, and uh, let me know what's not working, and we can troubleshoot that together. So here's just one more way to kind of double check, and write some code to troubleshoot your own coding and your projects that you're creating with the microbit. All right, hope you find this helpful, useful, all that good stuff, and as always, stay awesome and keep creating and never give up. All right, guys, until next time.